Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little roundup of products that I've been loving recently. It's not like a monthly favourites video because as much as people kept asking me to do monthly favourites videos, I did one once and it's still literally to this day like the least viewed video on my channel. So as much as I don't think monthly favourites is going to become a thing for me, I thought it'd be nice to show you guys a couple of products that I've been loving recently that maybe haven't made their way into some makeup tutorials. Before we get into the fun stuff of showing you all this new makeup, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do just now. And if you want to see a little bit of a roundup of what I've been loving, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with all things skin. Um, I have picked up a couple of really cool complexion products recently. These are all really new products, so they're not like favourites that I used in there. These are things that have became maybe new in the last few months that I haven't maybe used in my channel. So the first thing I want to talk to you about isn't actually new, but this is the Urban Decay Drop Shot. The Urban Decay Drop Shot is a favourite product of mine. It is a mix in facial oil, so I love to use this mixed in with any other foundation just to give it a little bit of glow, a little bit of sheen and a little bit of hydration so it's perfect for if you've got those foundations that you love but maybe they're a little bit too dry for you, your skin's needing a little bit more hydration, a bit more glow. Mix a little bit of that in, I love it mixed in with any full coverage foundation because it doesn't compromise the like coverage and long wear of the foundation, it just adds a really nice glow to the skin and I also love it for it in taste but I'm not wearing makeup and just want to look really radiant. Speaking of glow, I also picked up the Primark Prep and Perfect Glow Iridescent Priming Elixir. This has become a big favourite of mine. I first seen this on Instagram, on Style by Abraham's Instagram stories. He was using it all over a model. It looked beautiful. Her skin looked so nice. It's like a really nice kind of pinky white iridescent finish. It smells delicious. It smells like candy floss. It's so nice. And I became so obsessed with using this as a base for makeup as well as mixing in. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is some newish foundations that I have been loving recently. The first one is the Dior Backstage Face and Body. I am obsessed with this foundation. It is such a lovely coverage. It looks so nice on the skin. And I also really love that mixed in with other foundations just to give it a little bit more of like, I don't know, because it's like, it's matte, but it's not matte and it's not full coverage, but it is. It's really lightweight, but it just looks like you've got really nice skin. The shade I use in this is 3W and I really, really, really like it. I also love this. I did this in a video with my drop shot mixed together and it looked so nice and then I ruined it with cream contour, but before that my skin looked bomb. So I would highly suggest you try this and try it mixed in with your drop shot oil. Another foundation I have been loving recently is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. This, for like a drugstore slash affordable concealer, is next level unreal. This makes your skin look so nice. It is not full coverage. It's not going to give you that full on full beat finish. But see if you want to just look really glowy, really dewy and really healthy. This is like the perfect foundation. I have been using this since... I've been using this since... When it first came out, Mark picked it up, I used his once, and then I was like, you know, I need to go and get my own, and this bottle's only finished, and I never finish new foundations. The only foundations that I ever normally finish and have to buy again are Urban Decay Naked Skin or Urban Decay All Nighter, but this one is joining the ranks as one of the repurchase products, so it's a winner. Another product I have been loving recently is the All Night Long Concealer from Barry M. Name aside, and what is a complete rip-off of, we're going to ignore that because I don't like the stealing other people's product names and giving it a twist. But the product itself is so nice. I go between the shades Milk, Oatmeal and Cookie. They are really nice for like a full coverage concealer. They're also great as an eye base. As much as you guys know that I don't like using concealer as eye bases, this one is really, really nice. At formula wise, it actually kind of reminds me of the P. Louise base. So it's great for an eye base, but also on the under eyes, it is super, super flawless. But I usually like to layer this with my beloved Revolution concealer for that ultimate popping right under eye. Just while we're on the subject of skin, before I move on to like powders and brows and eyes and stuff, I also wanted to talk to you guys about this. <laughs> This has become an absolute favourite of mine. This is the second bottle that I've purchased of it. This is the Primark, Primark, Pennies, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, the collaboration with Alex Steiner, who is a skincare goddess. This is the Maximum Moisture Micellar Cleansing Gel. I love this stuff. What I usually do is I will, it's meant, you're meant to put it on like a cotton pad and wipe. I usually just put it with fingers, rub it over my face, let all my makeup melt away, and then I'll wash off the rest of my makeup with a cleanser. But it's really great for getting that kind of first layer of makeup off so that you're not using too much of your good cleansers. And I really, really have been loving this. And I feel, and I feel like it leaves your skin feeling so smooth and so soft. So, and it's like £5 for this big bottle, so check it out. 
Okay, I wanted to tell you guys about a couple of little face products. These are not new as such, but they are kind of new to me, but they're also things that I've been reaching for every day that I wanted to just kind of share with you guys. So the first is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish Bronzing Powder in the shade Delphic. I don't think you can get this anymore. Um, I used this in a video recently and I have been assured that MAC bring these bronzers out on and off, so you can probably get it next time it comes out. But it's basically a really nice bronzer that's not matte. It's got a nice kind of sheen to it, so it'll give your skin a really healthy glow. So what I like to use this for is for if I've done like my matte contour and bronze and my highlight and I want something just to kind of blend everything together and look really nice and bronzy and fresh and dewy, this is a winner. It is so, so good. If you can get your hands on this still, I would highly suggest getting it because I am loving it. And I'm already worried that when I run out, I won't be able to get it again. So pray, pray, pray that Matt bring this back. Also, recently I became obsessed with the Maybelline Superstay Waterproof Matte Powder. This is great for setting makeup with and I have became that guy that takes a little sponge in the pocket and when I get shiny, I have noticed this makes my makeup stay on so nicely. It was such a lovely finish. Like I said before, I have been hunting and hunting and hunting for a new powder since Urban Decay discontinued my beloved Naked Skin Powder Foundation and this one, just for adding coverage and colour, is so, so good. So, again, drugstore, fun, love it. And this isn't actually new, I just really wanted to talk about it because I love it and this is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in the shade How Many Carrots. This is that highlighter that everyone went nuts for. It just looks in the packaging like white. But when you put it on your skin, it gives it this really nice, like, iridescent, shimmery glow. And I think it's so nice because, for me, I don't like highlighters that have got a lot of glitter in them. But sometimes I like something that's going to make my highlight a little bit extra popping, you know. And this is the kind of thing that will just kind of take everything over the edge. It is so good. It's kind of like a gel formula almost. It just sits on top of your makeup. And I actually think it goes on really nice when you just use a little bit on your fingers and just kind of tap up the cheekbones and push it into the skin. I really, 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 really like this, which is obviously the theme with everything that I'm showing you guys today, right? Of course, I couldn't do a favourite video without talking about the products that have literally changed my brow game, and that is the Urban Decay Brow Blade and the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. So these two launched as part of the Urban Decay Brow Range um, at the start of February. I seen these products so long ago and I was so excited to get them so I'm so happy that I can finally use them. The brow blade, I don't know if you guys know, one side of it is a waterproof pencil and it's really fine. One side is a ink stain that you can go in and just give your brows little kind of microbladed hair strokes which is really nice for if you like the kind of fluffier brow. Just top it up while I'm here. I use the shade in this Brunette Betty, I think is the second or third darkest. This is a really 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 good brow product if you like your brows kind of like me where it's kind of defined but still fluffy and looks kind of like hair because you can kind of create the illusion of hair where there isn't and it makes your brows look literally microbladed so this one is great and also the brow endowed which I think people really don't know much, as much about because this one obviously went viral when Huda Beauty posted about it. The brow endowed on one side you get your little brow primer so as you guys know that I love to use a lash primer on my brows but sometimes I find that when I use a lash primer the brush can be quite fluffy and it can kind of clump and gather. This one's got a tiny little brush so it's really good for precision and it will really push the hairs into place and then you can go over it with the coloured side which is a little coloured brown mascara again in that super tiny little applicator just to give the brows some really nice fluffy texture. I use these two kind of hand in hand, but I also have been days when I mix and match them and use them on their own. This one is so, so good. I think this one is one that you maybe need to definitely try if you haven't already, because it makes your brows look so fluffy. And I am the shade Brunette Betty in this as well. Oh, also on the subject of skin, I haven't really touched on this as much. The Be Perfect Cosmetics slash M -M -M Mitchell Sub-Zero Highlighter Palette. The highlighters in this are proper blending, they are proper giving you that Instagram face tuned highlight but in real life this is such a good highlighter palette so it's been one that I've been reaching for a lot recently and really liking it. If my cheeks are super popping that is usually the reason why. I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes to talk to you guys about. Again they're not all super new and one of them is one that I've actually used in a video before and I got it like in October but recently it has became like the one that I kind of reached for when I want to do really nice brown looks and that is the Dose of Colours Friendcation palette in collaboration with Desi X Katie, two of my favourite influencers on the YouTube, Instagram, 
area love the packaging love the shadows inside so the kind of foil shadows are really nice the kind of shimmery ones they've got a really nice intense hyper sparkly finish they're actually really similar to the dose of colors block party shadows oh i should show you that one there's a shade in that teal me more obsessed but i love the colors in this and the mattes are really nice as well so it's really good for like quite easy glam if you just want one palette that's going to tick all the boxes this is really really nice i think you can get it in the uk on beauty bay i got mine when i was away but it's really good and then another palette that i've been loving i've had it for about a few weeks now and i can't put it down and just it's got some really easy colors just for quick easy everyday glam and that is the lottie london x twili living my best life eyeshadow palette this has 14 colors really nice mixture warm mattes pops of color what's not to love i've actually got this on today because I filmed a video with this which will be up next week and um, I filmed this and but I've obviously changed it up for this video but the palette here is so nice I have been reaching for this every day even just some of the warm matte browns just as a kind of wash in the lid love it so I would highly suggest checking that out because it's literally like a tenner and then last but not least when it comes to eye palettes the biggie the one that broke the internet the Morphe X James Charles artistry palette I am obsessed so of course this palette has got the super nice warm tones, it's got those really nice transitions. See this one, this one and this one, just a kind of everyday buffed out matte smoky. It is a dream. You've got pops of colour. I love this palette because I can do so many looks with it and the price is really good for how many shadows you get. I know it sells out all the time, I know it's super hard to get. I literally had a tantrum when it first came out, I didn't get mine in the first drop. But since I got mine in the second drop, I have not put it down. This is a great palette and I'm really, really happy that I got it. And I definitely will be purchasing this when I run out which will more than likely be very soon because I use it all the time. The last product I want to talk to you guys about is actually a fake tan. I have been obsessed with the Doll Beauty Doll Tan. I use the shade Deep Dark. This tan has been a game changer for me. For those of you who know I struggle finding a good fake tan because I have super super dry skin and pretty much any tan that I use will go on and look like I have got leopard print on my skin it will cling to little dry patches it will really bring out any dryness any eczema anything like that in my skin it just clings and then coming off is always a nightmare it goes horrible it goes patchy so this one goes on beautifully it smells so nice so i actually have been wearing this sometimes as like an instant tan during the day letting it develop washing it off at night because i really hate sleeping with fake tan on this one it's so nice it smells like marshmallows it's so good it doesn't give me any dryness so it's definitely a winner for that and also it comes off so nicely when it is wearing off it doesn't go dry or patchy so if you haven't checked out the dull beauty dull tan i highly recommend it and that's really it i think i've kind of rounded up all the favorites i'm loving right now obviously there's other products that i would love to talk about more in detail but i wanted this to just be a really quick fun video rounding up some of my favorite products at the moment and let me know in the comments what of my favourites is your favourite if there's anything that you are loving that I also love. If you don't already, you can always follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. If you haven't already as well, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, if you like me talking through like kind of favourite products, just as a nice kind of change from like makeup tutorials and stuff. Um, let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos you'd like to see from me because, you know, we're trying to get this weekly thing happening and actually be consistent in 2019. So let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from me. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the bell, you know what to do. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.